Now we know a little bit about vector and scalar quantities. Let's have a look at this worked example. Here we have 70 kilometers, a magnitude, and so it's a scalar quantity here. Now here we have to the north, and that is a direction, so this converts the distance, a scalar quantity, into a vector quantity of 70 kilometers to the north. Also here we have the displacement, the movement from the start position to the end position, 70 kilometers to the north. And this all occurs in two hours. Let's quickly recall the definition of velocity. Velocity equals displacement over time. Just label this up for you, so you've got velocity, you've got displacement, and you've got change in time. If you're wondering what some of these symbols mean, the arrows indicate that it's a vector quantity, and the reason why you used an S here rather than a D is because you'll find later when you move on to calculus that you'll be using the D for something different and it's better to avoid confusion um, before it starts. And this triangle symbol here is just shorthand for change in. It's the Greek character delta. Now the definition of speed could be found easily enough here. Let's uh, remove to the north, so we take out the direction. So all we've got left here now are scalar quantities, 70 kilometers a distance and two hours time. And of course you wouldn't have velocity anymore, you'd have speed. So the definition of speed would be, you've got your distance here and that's over time. OK, let's uh, clear that up and go back to the original question. Right, here we go. Right, so Peter drove 70 kilometres in two hours to the north. What was his average velocity? OK, let's write down velocity. Now remember you've got your displacement over time. So let's write the values in here. So you've got 70 kilometers to the north. Don't forget to the north since that's what makes it a displacement rather than just a distance. Right, and that all occurs over two hours. So let's move this along. OK, so you've got 70 over 2, so that's 35. That's the numerical component of this done. Let's move on to the units then. You've got kilometres over hours, kilometres per hour, and that's to the north. You mustn't forget to add to the north at the end of this since you've been asked for velocity. If you just wrote down 35 kilometers per hour you'd only be giving the speed rather than the velocity and you'd lose marks because of that. You must give a direction if you want a vector quantity. Well, I hope you found that useful. Subscribe to the feed if you want to view more of my maths videos.